Amen. 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 Amen.
call and ask Tracy to have us to pray for the family right. today, and that's what we're going to do. Amen. Amen. Uh, the young man that's going to bring the message. I am so proud of him. Oh, yeah. Man. And I call him long sometime. I call him reverend sometime. Uh, Y'all call him tutor. <laughs> I haven't got, got to that so often. Amen. But he's gone through some difficult times yeah. in life. But he didn't allow those difficult times and yeah. things that happen in him life to yeah. deter him to deter him from preaching the word of God, to deter him, amen, for giving us his all and his best. Amen. Some folk, amen, they would just say, well, you know, I, I, I'm going through this. This has happened to me, and I, I'm not, I just not going to do nothing. I'm going to let something up. No, no, no. That's not what God called me to do. Amen. God wants us to serve. And Paul said, uh, for me to live is Christ, but to die is what? Amen. And we ought to be found, found trying amen, to do all that we can while we have right. breath in our body to serve right. the Lord. And this young man that's going to bring us the message today, he does all that he can to preach the word of God and to bring glory to the name of God in his life. In the person of Reverend Lawrence Coleman. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I'm just glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Like Pastor was saying, I've gone through some trials. Yeah. Some yeah. hell trials. All right. But I didn't let that deter me Man. from preaching the word of God. Yeah. I did let it slow me down just a little bit. Come on. One thing I can't fall to see. All right. Can't pronounced words. But I still know the God that I know. I'm to say some things right now. I know who I'm talking about. All right. Who I'm talking about. You also know who I'm talking about. All right. That's all right. And Sister Turner saying that song said, God is not through blessing you. I know he's not through blessing Come on. I may not help. The biggest house on the block, but he's not too blessed. He may not drive the prettiest car on the yeah. street, but I know he's not dumb. Blessing. Yeah, right. Right. I may only have two or three dollars in my wallet. But yeah. I don't know where it's coming from next, but I know he's not dumb. Blessing. Right. So that's why I'm here this morning. Man. When Pastor called, put him back up. He called me. Trying to find out who we're going to be preaching this, right. this morning. And I said, Well, me, who else? But there you go. There you go. Then he told me about Pastor Hooper. There you and go. That he's going to be going to preach. And there's one thing about in my service, I hate to let anybody in authority over me down. Man. But one thing, Praise I, God. I refuse to let God down. Praise and God. And I'm not going to let my pastor, my so I didn't have I didn't have time to tell him I was gonna call so and so and so and so to do it. It's my job. That's, that's it. That's my response. That's it. That's you it. Know, he's not through blessing me. That's it. it. That's it. That's that's it. it. That's that's it. it. That's that's it. That's if you will, let's turn with me to the nineteenth chapter of Luke. All right. Starting with verse thirty-seven. When you get there, say it, man. Amen. Luke 19 and 37. And when he, he was come nigh, uh -huh. even now at the descent of Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Mm -hmm. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. Mm -hmm. And he answered and said unto them, 
I tell you that the thieves should hold their peace. Mm -hmm. The stones would immediately cry out. Right. May the Lord have a blessing of the reason and hearing and doing of his work. Amen. Amen. And I struggle with this problem. Come on. So I just chose praise him by myself. All right. <laughs> That's a good one. Praise him by myself. See, I don't want any stones praising my God. That's it, bro. Because I know all the things that he's done for me in my life. See, I had to praise God this, when I got here this morning. I pulled up and I saw Pastor Sister, Sister Matthew's car and I looked inside and I didn't see Pastor. Just as I was going to the door trying to find out where he was, here he come. All right. So I had to praise God for allowing him to make it back safely this Thank morning. You. I had to praise God for allowing him to be here this morning. And then when I first walked in the door, Sister Thomas was telling me about her brother mm -hmm. that he went home to be with the Lord. And I don't know when the service was, I don't know who went with them to the homeboy celebration, Amen. but I had to praise God for allowing them to make it back. Amen. Amen. So I, just, That's it. That's it. I just always praise God for us, for our people. I don't just mean black people, because everyone here is family. Some kind right. of way. We're right. in a, we're blood related or we're blood related. Yeah. Some kind of way we're all related to God. And and we want we always want to praise God for allowing us to see another marvelous day that He created. We always want to praise God for letting us be His. Mm -hmm. Now, the word praise, the Bible describes it as a blessing which helps us overcome certain situations. That's it. Praise is an act of expressing gratitude, adoration, or devotion to a deity. Mm -hmm. And who is our deity? Wow. God is our deity. See, we like to we like to give praise to everybody else, but when it comes to God, we always want to only praise Him for the things that He has allowed us I'll to pray. do in our life. I'll Not pray. only the things He's allowed us to do in our life, things He's allowed us to have in our life, and not only things He's allowed us to have in our life, the things He's allowed us to go through in our lives. All right. But see, we have to wake up with our mind stayed on Jesus' right. like songs here. We have to praise God for being God all by Himself. Because when we try to think of the things that God has done for us and allowed us to go through and the things that he's allowed us to see, we can be praising him all day long. Yeah, right. But we have to open our mind, open our hearts, use our mind, use our brains to, to give him praise. And if you have to think of things to praise God for, wow. there's something wrong with something you wrong. personally. Amen. And something you wrong. just have to sit back and sit back and, and think about it. What do I have to praise God? Yeah. Well, if you made it here this morning safely, that's yeah. one thing to give God. Praise God. Yeah. If you have in your limbs, that's one thing to yeah. give God praise. Yeah. 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 If you have breath in your body, I want you to give God some praise yeah. right now. But some of us, some of us, I hate, I hate to say it, and I didn't see it this morning. Yeah. And I should have been watching, but I would have. Yeah. Nobody had to be poking fun to get up and give God praise. Yeah. The praise team came down here and they sung their yeah. song. She's a, some will say, uh, uh, Sister, uh, trying yeah. to sing her song and, and Pastor got up here and spoke and Sister Matthews taught the lesson this morning. Uh -huh. We gave God praise. Uh -huh. and nobody had to look around and see yeah. who is praising God before we decide and yeah. give God praise. All you have to do is think about how good yeah. God is. Yeah. 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 Everything that He has done for yeah. you, to you, made it through you. That's it. Yeah. The thing that He does through you yeah. is really the blessing that, that we desire. We want to be a vessel when it's to be used by God right. to, be a, to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. See, we always, good. it's easy for us to bless somebody. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. easy for me to bless Pastor Matthew when he gives me $50. Right, right. Book. But should I first uh, bless, uh, thank God for Pastor Matthew, right. for blessing Pastor right. Matthew to be able to bless me That's with the right. thing that he had, that God has given him? I should be able to praise God for those things, yeah. for those people. 
for the life that, that we live, for the life that the life that we say, the life that we come in contact with. Right. That's what we should be praising All God right. for, All for right. the things that He has done in our lives. Right. Now, what does the Bible say about praising God? Well, Psalms 148, 1 through 10 tells us that all of creation is commanded to give praise to God. That's it. Looking back at this scripture for a minute, when God was entering the city on this, what we call the triumphal entry, all right, triumphal entry into uh, the city, Man. all the people that were gathered there were giving him praise. That's they right. were praising, praising Jesus because of who he is and who he was. And the, the sad thing is, they didn't know like we know right now. All right. They weren't able to go and, and pick up their Bibles. They weren't able to Google and see what happened all, that Jesus had done all through this life. We, we have the, the availability to go and Google if there's something we don't know. We have the ability to go to our leaders or to our, to our uh, fellow servants and ask them, what was the triumphal entry, triumphal entry all about? What were they were talking about? And then you look, if you read back, he said that they threw the coats on, on top of the coat that he rolled in right. and on the ground. If you think about it, what is the symbols of that? Well, some a gentleman, if, if you think about the things that we're supposed to do, the thing that we are told to do, if, if a lady needs to walk across a pub, Come so on. We're, supposed to, we're supposed to lay out, uh, lay something across so they walk right. so they, they won't get wet. So all these things that they were doing was for Jesus because this was their Savior. They believed that he was the Savior. They knew he was the Savior. And the thing that he had done, they had seen all the miracles. They had heard of all the miracles that he had done in the community. Well, right. Right. And in the right. city, they knew all of these things. So why did they read? Read about Jesus. We sing about Jesus. We talk about Jesus. All right. We're supposed to be living for Jesus, right. but we don't like to give God praise for right. the thing that He's done right. in our life. Right. They right. say, right. "Praise the act of expressing gratitude, adoration, or devotion to a deity." If we say we love God, if we say we serve God, uh -huh. if we say He is our Master, He's our Savior, uh -huh. our Leader, why is it so hard for us to praise? All right. All right. All right. All right. We have to wait to be poked and farted. We have to wait for the praise team to come here and start clapping their hands and stopping their feet. We have to start praising God. He is my God. And I can praise him by myself if I have to. Yes, I want your help. I love you. I need your help. But I can praise him by myself. And I think about the goodness of God. I think about the the goodness of Jesus Christ and the mighty Lamb of God, and all the things that He has allowed me and my family to go through. And, and we always say go through. How can you you can only go through to get started? You know, race talking about running a race. That's What's taking you so long? You may somebody may have bumped you off the road, yeah. or, but you got back in the race. Yeah. And that was with the help of Jesus Christ, the mighty Lamb of God. Uh -huh. Then we get back uh -huh. in the race. We go just step on the side and, and, and make all kinds of excuses. Well, <laughs> I think one of these shoes yeah. is racing instead of Nike. Yeah. I don't have the right kind of running yeah. shoes. You yeah. think about it. God gives you the kind of shoe that you need Say to run away. You, you just have to be willing to put the shoes yeah. on. You have to be willing to put the running jacks on. Right. You have to be willing to put the white right yeah. attire. You have to dress play the white shoes to help us. Oh, there you go. You have to be willing to put on your feet. That's why you can praise God. Yeah. Because you know that He is taking care of you. You know, you yeah, yeah, yeah. everything that you do and everything that you're going through. Yeah. You can pray to God and be a God and God all by himself. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to this song that says, I don't want no watch. Right. Crying out for me. That's right. That was before yeah. I even looked at this scripture. Mm -hmm. I had never looked That's at that, that part of the scripture before. Right. I don't mm -hmm. think. And then it made me wonder mm -hmm. why would Watts cry out? Mm -hmm. That's something. Come on. Maybe because it's taking us too long. All yeah. right. And we're too quiet. No yeah. 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 And you think about it. You think about it. If you're driving down the street or you walking across a, a, a parking lot paved with, with stones, 
and you see the watch start crying. Mm. First thing you're gonna think, oh, I'm hurting these watch. No, this is because you look back at, at Genesis. Uh, uh, Who created what? Come on! Uh, God created God created what? Right? Yeah. And when you right. created everything, that, that meant the watch for what? They were good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so, since the watch are, are blameless, uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, we hurt people with watch. Uh -huh. We throw stones at people yeah, 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 yeah. with watch. But the watch have done yeah. nothing. Not right. 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 But if they have to, because we won't. Come on, yeah. All right. God lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. All the creation, every everything in the earth, everything in the sea, all earth. We're all create creations of God. So we're gonna lift Him up. We're gonna praise Him for what He's done in our lives. Right. All creations will praise God. Might not, we not, might not see it now. We might not see the watch crying out in Jesus' name. We yeah. might not <clears throat> see. I might not see. Come on, come on. Everybody man. sitting here crying out. But when we give it God praise, this is a personal thing. Uh -huh. It's a personal thing for what he's done in our life. Yes, uh -huh. it, 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 it's not because of what he's given us. Right. It's not monetary thing. It's not a uh, physical thing. It's because he gave us his son, Jesus Christ. Because he lets Jesus Christ use us. Because God uses us to give him praise. <clears throat> and when we give praise, he is just sat, y'all, he has to do it, just sit back and say, thank you, my amen, amen, you. Amen. 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 Because if you ever, let's say, as a child, if you ever walk in the house, <clears throat> I didn't, because I wasn't that good at school. <laughs> but if you ever walk in with your report card and, and, and say, Mom, I got all A's, but Dad, I got all oh, A's. Oh, yeah, I need that, but they got all A's. If you think you, you're going to say, uh, good job, good job, but all they say, okay, now go to your room and clean up. Oh, my God. They tell how we do God. Mm. For the thing that he's done in our life, instead of giving him praise, instead of blessing him, we look for more blessings from him. Right. Uh -huh. You know, Lord, I need a, a $100, but you only gave me 50 <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking that we're not using that 50 First of all, we have to use it to pay our tithes because yeah, God gave it to us while we give it back to him. Come on. We, haven't, we haven't paid our tithes, we haven't paid our offering, but we went and bought that first. And, right. and, 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 I won't say we were one because I know a lot of y'all saw We, we went and bought one. that first and, 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 and Ross that we saw that we didn't want to go get. <laughs> Why is that when God blesses us? We have such a hard time blessing him. Thank you. We have such a hard time lifting him up. Thank we you. have such a hard time praising him. We have such a hard time giving him the devotion that right. is due unto him. Right. And the devotion that is due unto him is because he is God and God. Right. 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 So right. We look at all the things around us. We look at all the people around us, all of our, all of our leaders. I was looking at a, 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 something yesterday uh, uh, about Roseanne. Okay. And how she went, y'all know Roseanne, yeah. the, the yeah. comedy, how she was, she went crazy after she had a record. She was real popular at one time, and she went crazy. I just say crazy. <clears throat> at one point in her life, she started doing all, uh, praising, basically praising Donald Trump. That's yeah. what she was doing. Yeah. Well, he can right. do no wrong. Yeah. Now, right. But why is it that God does no wrong? <clears throat> in our eyes, but we going to lift him up. Yeah. We, we, give, yeah. we give man right. the praise. That yeah. is due to God. We give man the praise that, that we should be, that is uh, sitting up in heaven. We give man the praise that for the thing that he has done, we you really have done anything for us because he hasn't given us our life, our help, and our strength. He hasn't given us uh, uh, our strength. He hasn't given us food on our table. He hasn't given us gold on our back. He hasn't given us anything. Yes, he may help. Provided us with some man, man may have provided us with something, but but don't forget it's coming from the mighty Lamb of God. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I'm afraid of by myself. Hallelujah. That's true. That's true. That's right. Now, what are the different ways to praise God? Right. Well, first of all, we can just lift our hands. Uh, yeah. Lift our hands. We don't have to say a word yeah. to give God praise. We don't have to just lift our hands. Uh -huh. And, and if nobody else knows, he knows that we're praising him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Hallelujah. Tracy yeah. finished singing, I'm doing this. But guess what? Tracy may have sounded good. Sister Matthew may have sounded good. Guess what? I'm praising God. Hallelujah. I'm 
praising God because they're praising my God. Uh -huh. They're talking about the things that he has done. They're talking That's about it. who he is. That's it. That's it. Praise him with singing. Yeah. And, 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 and what is a song? A prayer. Uh -huh. Basically, we're singing our prayer. We're praying to God for being God, for being who he is. Praise him with your words. Yeah. See, a lot of times we don't use our words correctly when right. we're praising people. But when we praise God, we should just say, What? Well, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank, I praise you, Lord. I lift up your name on, on high. But when we praise God, we praise, yeah. Him with, yeah. we praise Him with fellowship with others. Right. Uh -huh. See, right now, everybody that made it here this morning, everybody who went to a church and had their doors open, everybody who's sitting here looking at me on video right now, we're giving God praise. Yeah. We're, we're, we're yeah. fellowshipping with, with other believers. Right, uh, right. We're praising him because he allowed us to come together one more time. All right, all right. right. This is a day that was not promised to everybody. We know Pastor Hooper went on to be with the Lord, but but what did he, Pastor said he was a what? He was a unique preacher. Right. But what did he do? He praised the Lord. Yes, he praised he the Lord. And he prayed the Lord and prayed the God allowed him to praise him. He said, he said from some 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 things that were funny sometimes, yeah. but guess what he was doing? He was talking about the mighty yes, man of God. He yes. was talking about Jesus Christ and the things that he uh -huh. allowed him to do in his life. He was always praising God. He, mm. he may have had some, some strange saying, but we laughed about it. Yeah. Yeah. But then guess what? We understood who he was yes. talking about. Yes. We understood what he was talking about. Yes. And most of all, we understood why he was talking right. about it. And we understand why we can give, lift up the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty name of God, because he is the son of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. He is our savior. He, he is. is our redeemer. Yes. He is our leader. He yeah. is our God. He's so yeah. 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 <laughs> he, he gives us the things that yeah, he, you know, and sometimes we don't even ask for. He will allow us to have and say, he, sometimes we need things in our lives, but guess what? He gives us what we need sometimes yeah, to give yeah. us what we want. Exactly. When, we, when we come together, guess what? We shouldn't even be praising because of us. Right, right, we right. shouldn't be lifting each right. other up. We shouldn't be yeah. encouraging to one another. But we shouldn't be praising each other. Thank it's you. good to say that, that was a good job in Sunday school, Sister Matthew. But guess what? Sister, uh, Sister Matthew got the word from God. Oh, yeah. He got the yeah. word from God. Yeah. And presented to us this morning yeah. because of the things that God has done in her life. Right. And when right. Done it, in her life, right. she's an example. And, 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 and Sister Fraser and Brother Hightower and Deacon Thomas and Deacon Wynn, Pastor Matthew, yeah. we're all supposed to be an example. But most of all, we're all supposed to be examples for us. We're supposed to be examples for those who don't believe in Jesus Christ. We have not said Jesus Christ that we're supposed to say. All of us right here. Supposedly, we're uh, going to help. And I say supposedly because I don't know what's in your heart and what's in your mind. I can only go by what you tell me. But the ones who are walking walking the streets, uh, 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 doing other things in the street, and don't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sins, those are the ones that we're supposed to be setting the example for. Yeah, that's that, that's that, that's they're, they're, those are the ones that we're supposed to be portraying and presenting Jesus Christ for them to want to come through the whole world. Right, right. Uh -huh. What must I do to be saved? Who is this Jesus Christ they're talking about? Who is God? Right, I know right. the sun comes up every, every, more, every morning and the moon comes out at night, but who is to say that it's God that's doing that? My, my book says that it's Buddha. My, my, the, <laughs> people that I serve, the people that I serve say that, it, that it's more humble. So we're supposed to be telling them about the goodness of Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be telling them about God and nobody else but God. Come Sometimes on. we come to church and we're talking about everything but God uh -huh. and everybody but God. We're going out there, we're standing around the water too and sitting in the break room and, and talking about everything and everybody but God. But when you, just, when you break it down, once you start talking about God, so sometimes people just can't shut you up. You just want to keep on walking. <laughs> and I know all right. a, a lot of times, yes, because I work in the grocery store, I'm walking around the store, and I just bust out in the song, and somebody asked me, what's that song you sing? And then once we start talking, whether they believe in God or not, we'll start fellowship. That's it. And then once we start fellowship, first thing I want to tell you, what church I attend. Uh -huh. you, you don't have to come all the way to West Allison 
from playing on the west side. Right. I, I'm gonna do it, but you don't have to. Yeah. But, but come and visit, and you'll see what, why, what we're doing, and how we're lifting up the name of Jesus yeah. Christ, the mighty Lamb of God. You'll come, just come to Bible study, yeah. the Sunday school, or whatever we have going on at the time, uh -huh. so you can find out why, about the right. goodness of God in your life. Amen. 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 All right. Yes. Allah. <clears throat> is the most common word for praise. This word simply means to boast, brag, or rave about God. Mm -hmm. Even to the point of sometimes seeming foolish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I came to West Mount Board, I grew up in a Pentecostal church. All right. In a Pentecostal church. Some Baptist churches. Let's say they act foolish. Yeah. When it comes to praising God. Uh -huh. And not, I didn't say acting a fool. They say yeah. acting foolish. Yeah. 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 And what I mean when I say acting foolish, I mean as soon as the music starts playing, they get up and they start shouting. Right. And they're shouting all over the church and all over the building. Then the pool fit up and down the aisles and something. What's wrong with this? What, what is wrong with this? And we'll call them a fool, but they're just being foolish because they're a fan of, of God. They're a fan of the things that you have done in our life, just like Later on this evening, all the Dallas Cowboys fans are going to be sitting in front of the team after the food because they scored a touchdown because they're, they're beating San Francisco. We're going to be after the food for the thing that they're doing. But guess what? He, 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 the, the, the Cowboys can't do nothing for you like God can do. You can do nothing for the name of the Cowboys. That is exactly what you know, that you call. But it, that, that, those names mean nothing like the name of God. They're providing a, a service for us, an entertainment for us. But God is not providing entertainment for us. He's, he has provided life. He's providing another place. He's for God. All we want is without being a fool. Amen. Now, I told y'all I can't talk, so I might not pronounce some of these words right. You're fine, all right. All right. But Yalda means to worship with extended hands. Mm -hmm. We already talked about that. Extended hands. Yeah, yeah. Now, that, what does that song say? I can praise it by myself. I'll just I'll just wave my hand. Yeah. I'll just wave my hand. Just wave your hand like this. Your intention might be praising God. With extended hands, you're going to wave it like this. Yeah. You're not going to care who's looking, who, who's watching you. What they're thinking, you're going to praise God with extended hands. Aye, what are you doing? But you, you're reaching up to your to your God. You're reach, reaching up to our uh -huh. Savior. We're acknowledging who He is. Yeah. We're giving Him the glory for allowing us to be here one more day. Amen. Now the praise is with extended hand. Lift up, up your hands in the sanctuary and praise God. Now, now this is not the former president, Barack. It's, to, it's used to denote blessing. Right. Yeah. We like praise God for the blessings in our life. Mm -hmm. we, we lift him up. We acknowledge that he has blessings. Mm -hmm. We can shout about it yeah. all we want, but we denote that he is our, that he has given us blessings in our life. So somebody else will understand that he is the blessing. He is the ultimate blessing. He is the ultimate giver. Yes. No matter how much you got or don't got, you can get it from God. Yes. If it's in God's will to yeah, give it, yeah, to receive yeah. God and give it to you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We owe God. Yeah. We might not be able to repay him financially, but we, we owe him in our blessings. Right. We can say thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done in our life. Right. Samar means to pluck the strings of an instrument. Mm. You might not have a guitar, you might not have a, a violin, but you got an organ, an organ and a piano over there. And, and, and instead of thump the strings of instrument, we can also beat the drum or uh, play the whole right, 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 yeah. we're, 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 we're praising him with an instrument. We're praising him with an instrument. It's a make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now, Sister Turner. On the on the audience, it's gonna be a joyful noise. Me, it's just gonna be a noise. <laughs> but but guess what? I feel afraid of God, and he, he understands that I'm afraid of him, and I'm acknowledging yeah, him yeah. for being here at this appointed place at this appointed time. Wherever God has allowed me to go, wherever God has allowed me to be, that's how I should give him praise. That's right. We 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 we, we, we oftentimes get confused 
in, in our praise. We think that it has to be with music, but there's some some denominations that don't use music. Right, right. But, but the churches that do use music, we should uh, joyfully praise him right, with, right, with, yeah. with the singing and, and the instruments and the and the dancing in, in our voices. Amen. Now six and now six and seven basically mean the same thing. Amen. To the praise of Shabbat. <coughs> that means a shout and address in a loud voice. That's right. All right, all right. If you don't have a loud voice, you ever talk to somebody, you can't understand what they're saying. They just seem like they're just whispering all yeah. the time. <laughs> but when they see, when they get behind the microphone. We're going to start lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that comes out real both uh, uh, boastful and, 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 and loud. Right, right. And then sometimes you don't even want to, you don't, you want to be quiet, but you don't want to shut up. You just want to keep singing. You just want to keep right. talking. <clears throat> and we were up there preaching and, and giving God praise. We were standing out here in the, in the congregation and lifting up the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty of God. We should right. be boastful. Right, right, right. right. We're, we're, we're uh -huh. talking about the hour of God. We should go out with a boastful voice. We should go out with a, with a joyful, <coughs> joyful noise and tell, tell them all the nations, right. wherever they are, behind the, the head the, and in the byways and in the streets. We should be boastful with a loud voice. Talking about our God, you know, see a God, a God, all that's right. Just, that's right. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so I praise Him by myself. It says in the Scripture, it says, "The Pharisees from among the multitude said unto Him, Master, rebuke thy disciples." In other words, they were telling Jesus, telling people to be quiet. Yeah. They were so busy praising him and, and lifting him up and, 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 and giving him glory and saying, Hallelujah, for who we, we believe that you are our Savior. We believe you are our, our Redeemer and, and everything that has happened here. And, but that's what they believed already for the things that he has done. He had already healed the sick and raised the dead. He had, they had already seen some of the miracles that he had done in, 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 in Jerusalem. So yeah. they were already giving him praise. Yeah. They yeah. know they all of them did everybody didn't know what was about to happen. You know, they knew right. he was about to go through something. Yeah. And it ain't any it good to know that we know what Jesus Christ went through. Yeah. We, yeah. we know That's that Jesus it. Christ uh -huh. came down from 42 days. Oh, yeah. yeah. God took him down. <laughs> yes, we don't we want to third the time, but we can just sit back and, and, and look at the Bible and, and imagine the things that they were doing, how they were, how they were praising him, how they were lifting him up, how they were throwing their coats on the ground so he could get across, and how they were throwing their coats on top of on top of the horses so he could ride on them. We can only imagine, and since we can imagine, we should imagine ourselves in heaven right now. When we go, when we go to him, that's we it, give that's him it. and give it God praise all the time. Uh -huh. We always like to say God is good all the time. Then y'all say what? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. That means now, that means in the past, that means more, mainly, mostly in the future, that God is going to be good all the time. Every day is going to be hot and hot. We're going to be able to praise the Lord each and every day of our life. After life, we're gonna be able to praise him when we get to heaven. Right, so right. How can we praise him when we get to heaven if we have a practice down here? We have to get prepared down. So why don't you get started now preparing yourself for the right to go? Practicing what you preach. Why don't you start practicing now what you're gonna do when you get to heaven? Uh, it's easy to say what you're gonna do when uh, you get to heaven, but we can't even do it when we get to heaven. Come church. on! We should start practicing. We should yeah. start before we even get to church. You know, yeah. I talk about this all the time. Right down the street, we should be praising God. Yeah. You know, when you when you take a shower, there should be a who what was that? Because you just thought about the goodness of Jesus Christ all and right. just start praising him. When you watch the football game this evening. Uh, if they get a touchdown tonight, there should be some kind of uh, motion that makes you think, oh, that. Why? What, what, what did God just do in somebody's life? And uh -huh. some, some, some of my family members like, what did he just do? It may be sickness, it may be uh, a blessing, <clears throat> it may be death, but guess what? God did it. We're supposed to and guess what? We're supposed to praise him. All right, all right. Right. Those who have gone on to be with him, yeah. they're not dead. They're just, they're just resting, waiting on, on, on the day of glory. Yeah. 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 They're just waiting. To, to praise him in all, all time. Right, all we, right. we should be 
uh, for preaching right now. And I'm looking at these words on this paper and, and I'm like, whoa, what was that? Wait a minute, what did they say? And just have to think about it sometimes. I know, Pastor, you do it sometimes. You have to change the words of what you said to God. You have a thought when you're up and reading these words. And you have a thought when you're singing the song. Just the goodness of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The things that you've done in your life come back to you. I can remember when I was dead in that hospital bed and, and they would come in with a needle. I was scared of needles. And, and they come in with a needle and I'm like, what is this for? But then once I got that shot, I would feel good. Right. So I'm getting a shot of Jesus Christ. All right. 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 It's not a single word. So soul from good when you get a shot of Jesus Christ. Because yeah. he came down before the two generations. Yeah, that's it. All the rest of the streets of Jerusalem. Yeah. 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 So just imagine what kind of miracles he can do now and that he's doing now in your life. All you got to do is give him praise for it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I'll pray for him. I'll pray for him. I'll pray for him. I'll pray for him. I'll pray for you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He allowed the doctors to give me medicine to bring it down. A little yeah, bit. yeah, so yeah. Like, we still complain about the things that we have in our life. But yeah. first of all, it's to uh, praise him for just in his life. <clears throat> we complain about cancer in our life, but that's because you still got life. Yeah, that's right, right. You're right. going to bring you through that cancer. If, if you just praise him, if you just lift him up yeah. from yeah. his God, God, by, God all by himself. And not only did he come down from 42 generations yeah. and walk the best of streets of Jerusalem, no, no. but he can heal the sick and raise the dead. But guess what? He had to. He had to go up that hill. Exactly. And die for our sins. Die for our sins. He came down for our sins. He came down to teach us yeah. about our sins. Uh -huh. what? He had to die for our sins. Yeah. He wasn't he wasn't finished redeeming us yet. He right. had to die to redeem oh, us yet right. and, and, and uh, allow us to go to heaven yet. But when he died, he hung there from the sixth and ninth yeah. hour. And oh. all out of yeah. He hung there from the sixth and ninth yes, hour. Yes, he did. And that was dead the come on, come out. Uh -huh. was dead. Come on, come on. All the thorns upon his head. That's what he did. I can praise him by myself. Yeah. Yeah. He hung there all night long. That's what he did. He did something. He did something. Yeah, he hung there all day Saturday. He for my sins before yours here. He hung there all night Saturday night. But then it was early Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. Our Savior, our blessing, our healer, our God, our God, our Jesus, our Holy Our Savior, 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 our I love praising him with West Mountain Park. I love praising him with Billy and Whoever we praise God with, uh -huh. and guess what? I can do it by myself. Yeah. I might not have all the beats I've like uh -huh. my daddy used to, but I can give him a praise all by myself. Yeah. I might not have the right words to say, but but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Just, just give up Come on now. I can praise him by myself. I don't need nobody else. I can lift up the name of God. Yeah. I can praise God for being uh -huh. my God. Praise God for sending Jesus Christ down through one or two generations. Yes. I can praise him for my life down the street. I can praise him for my wife and my kids. I can praise him for my whole life. I can praise him for the rest of my boy. I can praise him for my pastor. I can praise him for my people. I can praise him for whatever else I can do.